Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode in our equipment system series and in this episode we're going to carry on from where we left off last time and last time we got the S uh, CSV of our equipment uh, data table into Unreal. So we've got this character sheet and when we click on these slots we're showing an empty menu. In this episode we're going to fill this menu with some items found in our inventory. So this is going to be another inventory type system. Uh, so if you've seen my previous inventory system you're going to see something similar here. But it's going to be fundamentally quite different just because of the way we've got this game uh, working out. So first thing we need to do is we need to make an inventory component to put onto our player. So I'm going to go right click here and go blueprint class. And choose actor component. And I'm going to name this one Inventory Component. In our Inventory Component, we're going to have uh, a variable. And in this variable, it's going to be an array of all the armor pieces, weapon pieces that we have on our character. So I'm going to go to Inventory Content. And the variable type for this will be our armor data as a data structure. So I'm going to go in here and actually let's make this a let's actually make it exact and call this armor content and this is going to be armor data and it's going to be an array so you click on the little pill icon here and click on the 3x3 grid icon to make it an array so this array will store a list of all the armor that we currently have on our character so after that we're going to make a function for our inventory and so click on the function on the left hand side and click on the plus function and on here I'm going to name it add to inventory this add to inventory is going to have one input and it's going to be called armor and it's going to be of the type armor data and if I want to make another one for the weapon, I can do. So, for example, I'll just make another one here and call it weapon. And this will be the weapon data. Okay, so we can add to inventory an armor piece or a weapon piece. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so when this comes out, we're only going to do it for armor content for now. Uh, but weapon, it works exactly the same. So once you do it for armor, see if you can do it for weapon as well. Okay, so it's pretty much exactly the same uh, pro uh, process. So here I'm going to drag the armor content array out, choose get, and here I'm going to add a value to this, and that's going to be our armor that we're adding here, like so. And that's all we have to do for this right now, okay, let's say add that to that. Very simple, very basic, I'm not going to go into bells and whistles, um, but for now this will uh, do for what we need it to do. So I'm going to close the inventory component and then we'll go to my third person character. And on here I'm going to add the component we just made. So go into add component and search for your inventory component that you just made. And I'll add it to this list here. So when this game starts I'm going to make it on begin play add something to this uh to this component okay so normally this wouldn't be here this would be somewhere else so when you pick up an item or interact with an item but for now I'm just going to make it so the game starts with something in your inventory so for the very start of our game we're going to make a little temporary thing here to add some inventory to our inventory component so this normally wouldn't be here this would be happening when you interact with an item on the floor or pick up some loot or get rewarded from a quest or something so but for, so for this purpose, I'm just going to put it on the begin play just so we can see it, what we're trying to do working. So on here, we're going to drag out our inventory component. And then from there, we're going to call the add to inventory function that we just made. The next job is getting a piece of armor from our data table that we wrote up last time. So I'm going to try and get this leather helm here. And it goes in the head slot and has these stats. So if you type in data table, you'll find one that says get data, ta data table row. And from here, I can choose, oh, I don't, let's move this out of the way. I've got uh, a few things here. So I can choose which data table to read from. So I'm gonna go from the other one we've got. 
and I've got a list now of what row names I want and I'm going to go for row name 1 which is this leather helm if the row is found it's going to add it to the inventory so drag it out row to the armour if it's not found you can do like an error message or whatever you really want down here okay but for now this will do okay so it's going to add that leather helm to my inventory click compile and we are done here <clears throat> okay so the next job is to get the inventory that is on the player so currently the player has that in our data in our array the next job is to get it to display in this correct slot here so let's open up our user interface for those slots so if I go to my armor slot and go to the graph editor for this you can see we've really got the slot type and this is an enumerator so for example the head slot will be having the head type and with the head type we can then call into our inventory components array search for all the head based items and put them inside this uh, slot so to begin we need to create the slots that go inside this slot inventory so it's a scroll box and we're going to make stuff add to this based on the slot type this belongs to so on the graph we've got the slot type already that comes from our armor slot when we've done this here so we've done the, that part already the next part is to get uh, the inventory component and get all the array from our inventory uh, array so let's go and get the player character and we're going to cast this to the third person character as a third person character we can now access that inventory component get inventory component and then from there we can access its array of uh, armor content so now we've got an array and what we're going to do is we're going to go through each type of that array so I'm going to go for each loop and this loop will go through this array one by one and what we're going to do is check what is the type of that armor that's in there and whether or not it matches the slot type if it does we're going to add content to this field so we got uh, the loop so we're going to go for the ray element I'm going to right click on here and go split now I have access to all the information about my um, my armor piece and more importantly it's armor type so what I'm going to do is going to drag this out and go equals equals and I'm going to go equal enumerator and I'm going to drag the slot type out over to here so if this matches the slot type of this slot inventory we're going to get a true or false uh, signal So I'm going to create a branch and that's going to attach to the loop then from here we're going to go and create a widget to put into these slots so whenever you have a widget you want like a list of you want to make each item of that list a separate widget so you can create multiple instances of it and put in a list so let's make that widget now so right click here and go use interface widget blueprint slot inventory content open this up and I'm gonna get rid of the canvas panel and I'm just keep it simple I'm not gonna do anything fancy I'm just gonna do a text box for this one so just drag a text box in there and the text box is going to be tied to some data and the data that's gonna be tied to is the inventory item this thing is referring to so you go to your graph editor and add a new variable and it's gonna be armor piece and this is gonna be armor data and you want to make this editable and exposed on the spawn this means that we can access and change this value when we create a new slot in, uh, content go back to your designer click on the text block that we've just put into it and on the right hand side where it says content you'll see bind click on this and you'll see armor piece is now there and you can access its name text value so now that will display the name of the armor piece that's associated to this content here I'm going to close this and go back to our graph editor for our slot inventory. So we've got the true or false statement coming out of the slot type match. And if it's true, 
We're going to create a widget. And the widget type is going to be the one we just made, so slot inventory content. And the armor piece you'll see here is going to be the armor piece coming from our array. So now we've split it all up, it becomes a bit of a problem. Okay, we can't do one or the other. So what we need to do is disconnect this, recombine, drag it out of here and click break. Let's just move this along, give it some space. And then hook the armor type up like so. And then the array element can go all the way over to the armor piece on the widget. So it's now associating an, a one particular armor piece from that array to our slot inventory content. The return value for this is a reference to this uh, content. And we're going to tell it to add it to this scroll box. So click on your scroll box. And we're going to make this a variable. And I'm going to name it um, content list open up your graph and you'll see content list is now visible in the variables because we ticked this variable box up here and what that means is we can drag the content list out here choose get and then from here we can add a child to this and the return value simply just goes to the content of the add child click compile and let's test it out so if I go to push C, click on the head slot, and you can see I've now got an item here of leather helm. And if I click on other ones, you see they're blank. It's because they're different slot types. This is the head slot, therefore I can see the head item. Now, if I were to change it, so if I go to back to my character and change this to row two, let's remind ourselves what row two is. So row two was the breastplate, which is a chest item. And the chest item should now show without doing anything extra. So I push the C key, head is empty. But if I go down to the chest, and you can see breastplate of there, and it's gone off the edge. So we need to make this a bit bigger and take it to wrap as well. So you can see how it works though. So let's quickly fix this wrapping issue here. So if I go into my UI, so we're going to make it make that text wrap. We're going to go into the slot uh, inventory content and open up the slot inventory too. So here I've got it at a size of 250. So if I go to my text block here and go over to where it says wrap text act, I can type in 250, compile it, go back to the game, push C. You can see it now wraps it to 250. Um, I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger too. So I'm going to go into my slot inventory here. Change the size box here to be uh, 400. And I'm going to make the slot inventory content wrap at 400 as well. Let's see how that size looks. Yeah, that's a lot better. And you can see it won't show anything else here. So let's look at what we've just done today. So we've added stuff to inventory and we made it show this inventory on the user interface. Next time, we're going to make it so that when we click on an item, you can select it. And we're also going to make it so the slot content changes and details about it. So we're going to make it show tooltips as well as change the color of the border based on its rarity. So green for common, uh, blue for uncommon and so on and so forth. If you like this video and you want to see more of this, please head over to Patreon and support me where you can access the next episode of this uh, series as well as many other exclusive benefits just for my Patreon supporters, just from $1 a month. Just like these people have, a uh, big thank you, big shout out to everyone on this list. Uh, thank you, I couldn't be doing it without you. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.